As a business owner, it's likely that you spend more time looking at your website using a laptop or a desktop device than you do using a mobile device. But it's important not to forget about how your website presents on a mobile device, considering that many of your potential customers will be looking at your website through their mobile phone. Statistics show that almost half of Australians use their mobile phone to do online shopping at least once a week. And 61% of consumers globally are more likely to buy from a website if it is mobile friendly. There are a few different things that you can do to ensure that your website is mobile friendly. And the first is to ensure that the design is mobile responsive. Responsive website design basically means that the website content will adjust and rearrange itself according to the size of the screen that it's being viewed on. Pretty much all websites are designed like this these days. Um, if your website was designed uh, quite a few years ago, it is possibly not mobile responsive, um, but it's pretty easy to check this. You just need to jump onto your phone and open up your web browser and look for your website to see if the content is displayed in a format that's easy to use and easy to navigate. The best way to make adjustments to the responsiveness and the layout of your website content is to learn to use your content management system. Content management systems like Elementor or WordPress make responsive design really simple. If this is a bit beyond your capabilities, then ch have a chat to your web developer to see how you can work together to make sure that your design is responsive for any screen type. Another thing that you can do to improve the performance of your website on a mobile device is to give your mobile users a way to quickly contact you while they're on the go. You can make your phone number and your email address clickable with the use of a simple hy hyperlink or some basic HTML code. There are step-by-step -step instructions on our blog post on how to do this. The final thing that you need to do to ensure that your website is performing well on mobile devices is to make sure that it's running quickly. So if your website takes longer than three seconds to load, you're likely to lose about half of your potential audience. You can test the load time of your website pretty easily. There's a tool called pingdom.com uh, which we have linked to in the blog post. Um, and if you set that to the Australian setting, Sydney, Australia, and enter your website's URL, you can test the performance of your website. If you find that your website's load speed is quite slow, then there are a couple of things that you can do to improve it. Firstly, making sure that the images on your website aren't too large and that you're not using too many in one page. You can also make sure that there's not too much unnecessary script slowing your pages down and that your website uses caching. The script and the caching are both the responsibility of your web developer, but ensuring that your image files are a reasonable size is your responsibility. I hope that these tips have helped you to improve the performance of your website on mobile devices. The key takeaway here is to repeatedly be testing your website on a variety of devices to check that it's performing as it should be.